What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing the Lightning X med kit I bought off of Amazon. Um, I'm tell you, uh, I've already been through this. I've carried it with me for a little over a month, um, and the bag still looks pretty good. So that's one thing to be said for it. It did not come with the medical patch on the loop here. I just feel like if you're going to have a med kit for trauma, you need to have it marked so that that way if it's you, who, like if you're the one who's injured, people can automatically see like, hey, there, here's something that can help me. If I'm trying to help somebody and I send someone to get this, I don't want them searching through my bag to find it. I want them to know exactly where it is. And that's why I put medical patches on things like that. Um, the bag itself I like, it's clamshell open, uh, mollies everywhere uh, on the side. You can put things, I put my chem lights there. Um, and it does molly to backpack, plate carrier, battle belt, or you can run a battle belt through it. Um, so the bag, I like getting into it now. Um, there are a lot of things, now that I know more about medical, there are things that I wish this had that it doesn't. There are things that will suffice. And I think there are things that they could have put in there that they didn't um, kind of swapped out. I've done a video over this. This is my backup tourniquet. I carry a cat's tourniquet in my other kit. But this is the backup. It's $17, $18 on Amazon. Whereas the SWAT T, which I think is a better uh, tourniquet if you're not going to go with the T triple C as your backup, um, the SWAT T is better than this. It's also cheaper. So um, this came with it, but I would have opted for a SWAT T if they weren't going to put it. I mean, it's cost saving. If they put a cat tourniquet in this, that costs almost as much as the whole kit itself. So they, you know, obviously they're trying to keep the cost down. Um, this is elastic wrap. It's nothing special, but I hate the core. I hate that it's either, either this should be all the way full or this should be smaller. Um, would make it more compact and easier to use. In this part right here, where we've got gloves. These are black um, gloves. It would be better if they were tan or blue or even clear so that if you do a blood sweep, you can see it on the glove. Um, but it's nice that there's two pairs. And then alcohol preps. I think that's it for that bag, yep. All right, so that's, this is one thing that's nice. This is why you can put it on a plate carrier or a battle belt is because you can open it clamshell like this and then you can use this to keep like an idea of how far you want it open. So if you want to open it just like this so you can see it easier or if you want to open it all the way, you have the option to do that. Here we've got... This gauze, it's not enough for packing. It's, you know, just a thin piece of gauze. Nothing special. This is much better. This is compressed gauze. This is for packing. And that is a good thing that I will definitely keep in there. Um, everything that you've seen so far, I'm probably going to replace in the future. A CPR mask for rescue breaths. Um, it's nice that it's compact like this. I'm probably going to remove this for something else, just for space sake. And if you watched my other video about what I keep in my first aid kit, um, this is what I usually carry with me anyway, so which is a much better mask. And there's also an infant mask in there. You have the MPA. And everything's still in wrap, so sorry about the camera. 
lost the GoPro, so we're doing it this way. Uh, MPA, uh, stick it in their nose. This one is not lubricated. There is no lubrication with it, um, but you can use uh, saliva, blood, anything that's gonna make it easier to pass through their nasal cavity. Um, cheap trauma shears. So it's not bad. This isn't a kit that I'm gonna be going for a lot. I'm not a paramedic. I'm not on a SWAT team where I'm gonna be doing medical on a regular basis. So um, this is coming up on a car accident, uh, accident in the woods with the scout troop and they're good one time use scissors. So I'll keep those in there. This is a hemorrhage control bandage. So hemorrhage control bandage to me just means it's your basic pressure dressing. Um, getting further into the pocket, we've got triangle bandage. This is always good um, for sloth, or uh, sorry, uh, sling and do junction wounds with it. This is just gauze. I mean, self-explanatory there. More gauze. Not enough for really a major bleed, but good to have. Uh, this is a combine pad, so I think this is what they were using instead of chest seals in here. Um, it's definitely better for a larger laceration that you need to do a pressure dressing on. Um, but not for chest seals. Um, what I'm probably going to do is when I'm reducing my stuff inside the kit to make it more of a trauma kit, I'm going to go with some high fin chest seals. Um, just because I feel like those are important to have and they don't come with any. Hemostat gauze dressing for bleeding control. So this has a hemostat agent on it, but it is not for packing wounds. It's super thin. So after you pack the one, I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get combat gauze or some Celex gauze for packing uh, those junction wounds. I'm going to add pressure dressings and chest seals. So, uh, all in all, I like the bag. The bag itself is fine. This, I'm going to replace. This, I'm going to keep. If it fits after I get all the other stuff I want. I'll definitely keep these. I'll keep this, but they're, they make more compact versions of this. So, I'll probably eventually replace that. Um, I'm probably going to replace this with an H&H because that's pretty thick and the H&H &H have a, a more compact version. I'm definitely going to replace this with a more compact version. Uh, the MPA, unless I use it, um, I'm going to just keep it. It's a 28 French, uh, which is standard for most adults, but um, I'll get one with um, some type of lubricant or a pre-lubed one um, if I ever have to use that. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully this kit is fine because I'm never going to have to need it, but I have ended up doing medical on four or five different people uh, outside of my military service. So um, a couple were at work, one was a car accident, so you never know when you're going to need this stuff. Um, I may keep this in here. It's kind of a redundancy um, because I do carry a better kit for that. But if it doesn't take up too much space and everything else I want in here fits, then that's not bad. I'm probably going to replace these with more compact uh, rolled up gloves. I'll definitely be replacing this with a SWAT T uh, for inside this kit. And then I'll have a, my cat tourniquet for my primary. Uh, these are fine. Those will stay. Obviously, these are fine. They can stay. Um, this would be fine um, for wrapping purposes. But um, there are better, more contract versions of everything in here. 
uh, except for this. This is pretty standard from what I've seen, just your regular packing gauze. Um, so all in all, I, uh, this kit is not their only kit on Amazon. The uh, Lightning X has uh, this one for $50. They have a $100 kit. They have, you know, a lot of variety on Amazon. Uh, some of it may come with some of the things that I would prefer in here, uh, like maybe some combat gauze or something. But as it sits, I really couldn't recommend this kit um, unless you just didn't know where to start. If you didn't know where to start, you know, this is fine. This is a fine, this will work as a backup if you had to. Um, there are better backups out there, but um, I mean, nothing in here is super impressive. If you're going to buy it, uh, what I would do is buy it and then also throw in some uh, chest seals. Uh, the, I think the hyphens are $12, $24. You know, the two pack's the best, but I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, you can definitely take away from and add to as you see fit. But in my opinion, it's lacking a lot for an actual trauma kit. Um, bag's good, so if you want to buy the bag separate and then load it yourself, um, that would probably be the best way to go with this stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll talk to you again next time on Van on the Loose.